Hey guys, so I just recorded a uh, get ready with me. Um, I think I did like one of these before maybe, but like on my other channel, um, I think. But I just got some MUA makeup and I decided I'd do like a get ready with me. I'm just about to go to the cinema. Um, so this is the look that I did. Um, it's just hair and makeup. I just couldn't be like, you know, fussed editing a video where I try on clothes because who has that kind of time. Now ordinarily I would have worn my favourite lipstick in the world ever um, which is the uh, the Rimmel Provacalypse in um, Playing With Fire. Um, pretty much everyone <laughs> who knows me knows that it's like my favourite lipstick at the moment because it just does not come off but my lips are so broken at the moment because of the weather um, and the time of year that it is, they're so cracked. So we're just going with a bit of a tinted lip balm and trusty uh, Nivea, um, I don't know, repair and protect, smooth and protect lip thing. And also the Dermalogica uh, climate control one, which I use at night because it's very thick. Um, so yes, um, I put my glasses on mostly because we're going to the cinema and I need to be able to see the um, the show. I'm still getting used to the new camera and not looking down at my face and looking at uh, the new camera. I'm failing miserably at it but that's okay. I will get there eventually I think. It's really difficult because even right now the corner of my eye is still looking at the bottom. Okay well I'm gonna go because I need to drive and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye guys. Okay so narration for this. Uh, obviously right now you can see that I'm brushing the crap out of my hair because um, that's what I had to do. I struggled with the split in it evidently. Um, and yeah, brush and dry. Like a crazy person. I sped this up because otherwise the video would have been crazy long. Um, and so I just take the, the, the most wetness out of it and then I put on my headphones so I can have fun and listen to music. That's the Nivea Repair and Protect. It's like one of my favourite um, lip things. And the Effaclair Matte La Rose Posay Moisturiser, which is like the only one I can use. I needed to change the music because it was a bad one. That's the MUA uh, makeup that I got. I was trying it out. It's probably a little bit yellow for my skin, but it's more like a BB cream, so it actually worked out pretty good. I, however, really loved the concealer and the, um, the pressed powder. Um, I will definitely be using them some more, but yeah, I would definitely call the the foundation a bit more of like a BB cream. It wasn't a complete coverage. This brow kit is amazing. The little tiny tweezers in it, but actually the the, the darker brown color is perfect um, for me. This was the uh, shimmer blusher, or I think it might have been bronzer. I'm not sure. It was very light, so really nice. And this blush was gorgeous. Uh, I think it's shade number two, and I lost my headphones, but it's all right because I got them back again. This is just a bit of a concealer because I didn't have any eye primer, so I used the undress palette with my Sigma fluffy brush, it's like the Mac Two Twenty Two, whatever that one is. So I just used an all over pale color, and I very rarely actually use brushes to do makeup on my face. Uh, as you can see here, I mostly just use my fingers. Um, I pretty much use my fingers every time I put eyeshadow on because I'm too lazy to go find my brushes. Um, and I'm kind of weird about brushes anyway because they're touching your skin. Um, so I mostly just use my fingers because I wash my hands obviously before I put my makeup on. I wasn't sold on the mascara. The mascara was very light and then when I was trying to... Um, put my eyeliner on it stuck some of the eyelashes together and I found it very difficult to separate them then afterwards so I don't know I'm not I'm not gone on that I did use um a Revlon uh, brown eyeliner because I didn't actually buy an eyeliner when I bought all my makeup it was the one thing that I had missed to get so I went with this kind of brown it's like a brown bronzy colored eyeliner that I got in a glossy box and it's actually very pretty um and I'm glad I am glad that I got it but then I had to obviously um I put a bit more eyeshadow on, but I had to put the mirror down at one point because I was struggling to do the eyeliner. <laughs> um I then had to try and fix the unclumped eyelashes, like I said, which was very difficult. It did not want to do it at all for me. 
but um, it did eventually, <laughs> thank God. Um, and then I just used the, the, the tinted lip stick that I got, and then I kind of looked at my face, and I realized my hair hadn't dried out that much, so I ran the hair dryer over it again, because, well, we need to have dry hair. So, that's what I did. You can see me singing to myself sometimes as well, which is a bit crazy, because at one point I took the headphones off and then just played it through my phone. It actually came out relatively straight, which it doesn't ordinarily do. Now what am I doing? Oh, the earrings, the Jack Skeleton earrings. I bought these off Etsy. I have a video review on them. They're amazing, and 